All right, today we're going to have a look at module files or hot linked elements in order to be able to take our drawing and be able to multiply it in a way that makes it updatable. So this is our original file here. This is what we created in Archicad. Uh, we've just used this with all the tools in the previous videos, walls, furniture, doors and windows and such. You, you'll notice I've actually changed it a bit since the last video and that's just really just to be able to um, make it work better with what we're trying to do. But doing it in the file doesn't work really well. We need to be able to export this from the file. So all I've done is copy, paste and I've put this into another document. So you see that I've already named this, just a different name called unit for module, but it's still a PLN file. Now what's the most important difference? You'll see that there's no external wall, there's no division wall. Why is that? Because in order for it to be repeatable, if it's got the division wall, then that's going to double up or duplicate that division wall, which isn't working very well or wouldn't work very well in the way that we're trying to create it. Now once we've created this file, we're then going to go file, save as and we're going to save this module as a module file. When we save it as a module file, let's just make a few small changes to this one now so we can see what happens when we put this into the new file. So we're going to move this around a little bit. Um, what else could we do? Let's switch this door so instead of swinging in it's going to swing out just so we're not going to have BCA issues with someone potentially um, getting knocked out by the toilet. I will leave that one where it is because it's a bit awkward to change. Uh, we could start adding some text or something in. Basically the intention here is that we're just adding more information to the file. Let's reduce this down to two. get rid of wrap text which will reduce that box down and bring this down here spin it around so just wanting to make a few little changes to our model so that way when we um, update it we'll be able to see what's changed now what could we do here let's just spin this around as well Again, just sort of playing, just to have a few changes made. Uh, we could spin this around so the, the TV's on the back of the kitchen maybe. Oh, let's try that again. Rotate. And then the um, dining table's at the back. Again, I'm not really designing, I'm just playing. Right, so now that's there. Now we're, I'm going to press save with this file which just means I'm saving the Archicad file, the PLN file. But this doesn't automatically save the module file because I didn't open up the module file, I'm just in the PLN. So what I'm going to do is have to replace the module file, file, save as, and now I could call it a different name, but I'll use the same one for now. And that one is this module unit. Now you see that it automatically changes to MOD and automatically changes the format to module file, otherwise I could have done that myself. Press save, replace. Now I'm just going to save this file again for good measure. That was just Command S or Control S. I'm going to go into my multi file and we can have a look at different ways in order to be able to update this module. So let's just grab one. All of these are module files. How can we tell it's a module file? If you notice the nodes, the nodes are now square. Whereas if I'm to select something here and even if it was grouped, we'd see that the nodes are round. If I was to group it together, we'd see that they'd go coloured. As what happens with groups, it all becomes the same colour, but the uh, the node is still round, whereas this node is square. So now let's update one of these. So we can do it in a few different ways. We'll select this, right click, hot link module. So hot link is the, the terminology that Archicad uses to bring in something from an external content, but still be able to update it. So we want to update module and all related hot links. Now we see that when we did that, it not only changed the one that we just edited 
or chose hotlink, but it updated all of them because they're all the same module file. Now what we could do if we wanted these to be different is add in multiple module files. How did I make it? Why does it look different? Because this is a mirrored copy. So let's break this down. I wanted to show you the finished thing first, so it just made sense up front, but we can break this down to see what I've actually done in order to create these. So let's delete a few of these copies. We'll move this to the side, we'll move it just another 20 meters away just so we can see it. And we see that, again, it doesn't have walls and it doesn't have the grid lines. Why is that? That's so I can add the walls and the grid lines. Let's move these across. Independently, which allows me then to create a, create a mirrored copy of this. Why do we want it mirrored? Because we're going to have a common stair in between these two units. So let's select this one. Now we always want to make sure that it is grouped before we do this, just to avoid any confusions. Mirror a copy. So I've got this in my toolbox here, or I could right click, move, mirror a copy. And I'm going to use my grid line. The point of a grid line is to make this easy. So I'm going to use my grid line as my mirroring line. And because I only mirrored the module, not the wall, we see that the walls are still here. They're still exactly where they need to be. And the great thing is that it still works pretty well in terms of the relationship between the walls. So that's not a big problem. Now, now we can make that even better if we're a little bit more clever with our priorities. Um, but we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. And then we can start to add in the rest of the things. So I can re-mirror or copy now rather than mirroring. I could multiply a copy. The first thing I'm going to do is drag a copy of this. Now dragging a copy means it doesn't automatically change the number, but that's fine. It takes a second to do that. Now to multiply this, I could mirror a copy again. It's not really necessary. So instead I'll just drag a copy, move drag a copy and I'm going to move both of these this time and I'm going to move all of them except the wall or I can move all of them with the wall. The reason why mirroring a copy wouldn't work is because that would leave me without a wall in the middle whereas if I drag a copy it's going to move that wall as well. So let's do that again just a bit slowly just to make sense of what I'm doing. I'm going to deselect the uh, number one grid line. How do I do that? Once I've selected everything I hold shift then I click the elements that I don't want to move, and that will deselect them. Now move, drag a copy. I could also do drag multiple copies. Grid line to grid line, and that will mean that that relationship works really, really nicely. Now again, we can see that's just one wall. If I delete it, we're left with nothing there. That's just the module on both sides. So that works really, really well. What does that mean? We just need to be a bit thoughtful as what we add to our module, what we don't add to our module. Again, let's just update this now in a different way, just so you can see that I'm not lying. So we're going to go back to our module file again. Uh, what can we do? We could change the settings of our bench. We can make it deeper. Yeah. Let's reorientate this again and we'll turn off um, one of the chairs this time. So now it's sitting against the wall. And we'll move this back down here. Right. Now we'll save for good measure. So our file is saved and we'll save as our module file. Again, we're just going to replace the one that's existing. Replace. Back into our previous file, our main file, our master plan file. Now we're going to go a different way, file, libraries and objects, sorry I missed that, external content, hot link module manager. Now we can find that, the good thing is here it shows the status, it says it realises that it's been modified but it hasn't automatically updated. 
Now we could replace this, break it if we didn't want it to update anymore. In this case, we're going to say update. We see that it's updating and then OK. And that's now updated on our plan. So hopefully you can see the value of Hotlink modules in that we can do the work once and it can make all of those changes for us. Uh, try to, in using Archicad, never get yourself in a situation where you're multiplying mistakes is uh, the way that I was taught. Uh, don't do something and then multiply it, which means you end up having just to spend more time to fix the error. Now, what I hadn't done yet was fix these numbers, so we can do that right now, 4 and 5. So now my grid's working really well. Now, remember that the grid and the walls are autonomous. They're not linked. So I can then copy these if I want to. So for instance, if I just wanted to have five apartments in a row, and that now works. So I've got effectively two lots of five. That's four. One, two, three, four. Five grid lines, four apartments, two lots of um, communal stairs. In the next video, we're going to look at how to create these stairs. And we're not going to do that as a module. We'll just do that as a separate entity. Now, of course, once we've created one, we could save it as a module as well. Always trying to think of the most effective use of time, uh, but that's it for this video.